Top 10 actors died from ALF. Brian's right. It's an ALF. What? That's short for alien life form. To have this happen, it's a miracle. ALF is an American television sitcom that aired on NBC from September 22, 1986 to March 24, 1990. Unfortunately, time takes its toll and some of the show's beloved actors are no longer with us. Here's the list of top 10 actors died from ALF. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Ed McMahon Edward Leo Peter McMahon Jr. was an American announcer, game show host, comedian, actor, singer, and combat aviator. He was born in Detroit, Michigan, United States. In the 1950s, he hosted a late-night interview show in Philadelphia before working as a clown on the show Big Top 1950. His next assignment was as a fighter pilot during the Korean War. After that, he resumed his career in television. In 1959, he was hired as Johnny Carson's straight man on the daytime quiz show Who Do You Trust? 1956. He was Alf's sidekick and announcer in Alf's hit talk show. Alf received a personal thank you note from Ed McMahon when he subscribed to every magazine but Red Book through publisher's Clearing House. Ed McMahon was also Alf's sidekick when he was the guest host of The Tonight Show. McMahon died at Ronald Reagan Medical Center of the University of California, Los Angeles, surrounded by his family. He died of bone cancer on June 23, 2009. Number 9. Frederick de Cordova Frederick Timmins de Cordova was an American stage motion picture and television director and producer. He is best known for his work on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. He was born on 27th October 1910. Educated at Northwestern University, Frederick de Cordova began his show business career on the stage and came to Hollywood in the mid-40s as a dialogue director. He graduated to director in 1945. He spent much of his career at Universal Pictures where he turned out medium-budget westerns, comedies, and musicals. He appears on the American sitcom ALF and sternly warns ALF that if he doesn't call the Pope out as his next guest, that he'll be in breach of contract and will not get paid. ALF then quickly calls out the Pope, but unfortunately he's in the restroom at the time. He died of natural causes at the Motion Picture and Television Fund Hospital in Woodland Hills, California on September 15, 2001 and is buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Number 8. Nedra Valls An apple dumpling of a darling character actress Nedra Valls had one of those slightly vacant, twinkly-eyed faces absolutely designed for light sitcoms and commercial work. Although she didn't come into her own until past retirement age, she enjoyed a solid two-decade ride delightfully amusing audiences all over. The diminutive Loa native was born in a trunk to vaudeville parents in 1908 and was immediately thrust onto the stage as Baby Nedra in tent shows and similar venues. A band singer and radio performer in her early adult years, maternal instincts took over after marrying her husband in 1944 and she raised two children. But the spark never completely died. In the 1950s, she was performing again in community theater shows. She also played a role of an old lady in The Alf in the sitcom The Alf Meets an Old Lady at 165 Hemdale, presumably, when Willie takes him trick or treating. It's too late for Alf to get any candy, but when he sees that she has lots of cats, he requests a yellow one and she promptly shuts the door on him in an episode, Some Enchanted Evening. She died on January 20th in Meza Aris of complications of Alzheimer's disease. Number 7. Sam Whipple Sam Whipple was born on September 25, 1960 in Venice, California, USA as Samson E. Whipple. He was an actor known for The Rock 1996, Seven Days 1998, and The Doors 1991. He also played the role of mechanic named Sam in the sitcom ALF. In the sitcom, Sam is the name of an auto mechanic that rips off Willie by fixing something in his car and then breaking something else so he'll come back. ALF organizes Operation Sam Scam to catch him in the act. Sam Whipple died on June 3, 2002 in Los Angeles, California. Number 6. Mickey Jones Are you sure? Yeah, and it's against the law to shoot anteaters. <laughs> what are you talking about? You could shoot anteaters. Mickey Jones was born in Houston, Texas, USA. He appeared in both seasons of Flow as frequent customer Chester, but he also showed up in hit series like Chips, The Incredible Hulk, MASH, TJ Hooker, and The A-Team. In a memorable scene on ALF, the alien ends up hiding under Jones' hillbilly character's bed, and when the imposing resident discovers him there, he makes ALF shake like a dog. On February 7th, Mickey Jones passed away at the age of 76. Number 5. David Ogden Steers David Allen Ogden Steers was an American actor and conductor on Alf Flaky Pete Finnegan, played by David Ogden Steers, was a homeless person who's in the Tanner's neighborhood during Thanksgiving. Alf leaves food and clothes for him. When he discovers Alf, he turns him into the alien task force, but when they become friends, he tells the alien task force that he himself is the alien and they call off the search, thinking that Flaky Pete is just trying to get a free meal. 
The two-part special on Alf came in the middle of an illustrious career for David Ogden's years on both big screen and small, he'll be recognizable to most as Major Charles Emerson Winchester III, one of the central cast of MASH, who he played for six years between 1977 and 1983. Steers died at his home in Newport, Oregon on March 3, 2018, at the age of 75, from complications related to bladder cancer. Number 4. Bill Daly William Edward Daly was an American actor and comedian actor known for his sitcom work as Major Roger Healy on I Dream of Jeannie. On ALF, Dr. Larry Dijkstra is played by Bill Daly. Dr. Lawrence Dijkstra, Larry, is a psychologist and friend of Willie's, who is initially called in to help resolve a conflict between Willie and ALF. One of the reasons that Willie chose to talk to Larry is because of his ethical commitment to privacy. Daly died of natural causes on September 4, 2018 in Santa Fe, New Mexico, five days after turning 91. Number 3. Anne Mira I know, I know, you're something Willie made. He's always making crazy things in the garage. Anne Mira Stitter was an American actress and comedian. Along with her husband Jerry Stitter, she was one half of a prominent 1960s comedy team Stitter and Mira. Fans of the ALF reviews will know her as Kate Sr. She was introduced in the Kate Sr. trilogy and has made intermittent appearances since then. And while I couldn't pretend that she was actually a fantastic and welcome presence on the show, I would hasten to point out that she did what she could with what she was given. Mira went on to offer her talents to a variety of television roles, notably the Golden Globe winning Sally Gallagher in Rhoda and Veronica Rooney, an outspoken Irish cook in the hit sitcom Archie Bunker's Place. In later years, Mira played reoccurring characters in Sex in the City. Mira died on 23rd May 2015 at the age of 85, the New York Times first reported. They didn't immediately confirm the cause of her death, though later it was revealed she died of a stroke. Number 2. Mihaly Michu Mezaros Mihaly Michu Mezaros was a Hungarian actor, circus performer, entertainer, and stuntman who was an American citizen, was best remembered as a performer with Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey Circus, and for his role in the NBC sitcom ALF for the first season of the ALF television series, Mezaros donned a costume whenever a full body shot was needed for scenes of the alien walking, running, or standing. Though Mizarus was a television and film actor, and he also appeared opposite pop singer Michael Jackson at Pepsi commercial, his last appearance was in 2015's Death to Cupid. He died on June 12, 2016, at the age of 76. He had suffered numerous health issues since a stroke eight years earlier. Number 1. Max Wright Brian's right. It's an elf. What? That's stored for alien life form. To have this happen, it's a miracle. It's the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. We've got to get rid of it. Absolutely. <laughs> George Edward Maxwell Wright, known professionally as Max Wright, was an American actor. Max Wright rose to fame for his role as Willie Tanner on the popular television program, portraying the quirky father of a middle-class family. Wright was a wonderful sidekick for Alf. Despite his character's immense popularity, Wright was never happy playing second fiddle to an inanimate object. When the show ended, Wright spiraled into a world of devices that eventually ended his life-ending destruction. Wright's acting career began in 1974, and he had more than 60 acting credits to his name. In 1995, he was diagnosed with lymphoma, which was successfully treated and remained in remission until 2019. He died from the disease on June 26, 2019, at the age of 75 at the Lillian Booth Actors' home in Englewood, New Jersey. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos.